Antonio DeMarco moves up to 26 and 2. Emmanuel, tell us what's happening here. Right here, you see this short, straight left right here that probably changed the whole course of the last round. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing purple, official weight 134.6 pounds. His professional record 31 victories, including 20 knockouts, only one defeat. Originally from Barinas, Venezuela, but now training and fighting out of Tokyo, Japan. He's the number two ranked fighter in the world, two time world champion, Jorge El Nino de Oro Linares. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing white, official weight 134.4 pounds. His professional record, 25 victories, including 18 KOs. Only two defeats with one draw from Tijuana, Mexico. The number one ranked WBC lightweight contender in the world, Antonio DeMarco. OK, muchachos, les di las instrucciones de abajo. Los calzones están un poquito altos, así que aquí está perfecto. OK, dense la mano, buena suerte. A la esquina, esperar la canción. Of recent years. Incidentally, he's fighting with pink gloves. Uh, Rangy tall, he's not one. But you look at the natural athleticism in the north. Usually, a, a fighter with natural talent can get a winning technique. Oh, the lightweight division in less than a year about uh, Lenars' his unusual battle. He says, saved his life. Trainer, by being a... And then he was two to the best. He has the kind of scene that you 16 of 47 in the second round, even more. Go fired the left down the middle. I, I see how Freddie has, as you mentioned. Here's the trainer when he was invading Ken Adam. There's a mouse under the left eye. Right hand lands for Lenars over the top. Lands a combination, takes a right hand and a left from DeMarco. Oh, Norris is beginning to show that instinct to answer back after he's been hit. Yeah. Wing forward. I guess the answer is yes, based on this. Well, as is usually the case, some people wrote him off after the first round knockout loss to Salgado. But as Emmanuel Stewart said a couple of rounds. Donaire is handsome. And partially because in Japan, Mr. Honda is a lawyer. The comparison has always been to Deloya. Is there in fact a talent? Doesn't seem discouraged to me. Oh, hard right hand. Answer out perhaps. With punches, Emmanuel. I mean, yes. I haven't seen a fighter oh. turn his head as right. Got hit with an uppercut there right. by DeMarco. Maybe the best punch in a Doesn't just roll. He turns his head all yeah. the way around. Slips, ducks, turn it on Lenard. So when the other guys had snapped back, snaps kind of leaves a greater impression. And more engaged in the fight than was the case in round one when he seemed stunned by Lenaris' speed. He isn't in that mode anymore at all. It's a fight. Yes. Yeah. Even though Lenaris is winning right as you this is an important test for Lenaris. A Good young hard fighter. Left hand by DeMarco down the middle. A young fighter who's shown up to win and is fighting with energy and is not getting discouraged. How does Lenaris respond? Now this is DeMarco's best round, it appears to me. And if Harold Letterman gave DeMarco the last round, he might wind up giving him this one, too, because DeMarco's landed some very good, clean shots in the last minute, and now there's blood on Lenares's nose. And once again, Lenares starts to show that instinct of wanting to fire back an attack when it's clear that he's been hurt and been marked. Freddie Roach told Lenares to control the action with his jab because... DeMarco is starting to get a little rowdy and trying to take the fight to Linares. Linares has not heeded that advice. Well, he couldn't. After, after the first round, DeMarco got adjusted to his speed. At first, he was bewildered by the speed of Linares. And from that point on, Linares has never been able to just own and actually win in the fight at this last two rounds. Well, it, it, ever since the blood appeared, however, Linares has gone back at him with force and with effectiveness. And the Mexican fans have come alive. Good uppercut by DeMarco after the two good body shots by Linares. Linares, because he's not using the jab, is fighting the fight right now at DeMarco's preferred distance and getting hit far too often. Linares is excellent cut man. Joe Chavez is going to have work to do between rounds. Hard to tell exactly where the cut is, but it appears to be above the eyebrow between the eyes or maybe on the bridge of the nose. Now let's quickly go to referee's instructions in Bernard Hopkins' dressing room. We'll update the cut when we come back.
came forward. He got off first. I said it. The lead owed it. Four rounds to two. Oh, Jorge Linares. Hey, by the way, DeMarco drew blood on Edwin Valero, too, yep. in two different places before Valero ultimately got him and correctly anticipated. DeMarco. Well, it certainly helps his confidence for young Jorge Linares. You know, you would think that he would not be making his head rolling to, the, to his right, which is the wrong move for a southpaw, especially after so many rounds of boxing with Manny Pacquiao. Right, in other words, when you roll with a punch, the idea is to yeah, but move he's your doing head. Yeah, we probably have underestimated. We were so busy praising Linares. He's looking for the exchange and the combinations, and I think look, look, looking for the night. Right now in the corner. Um, from the guy, and I think we're still ahead. This round coming forward, but has not landed nearly as many effective blows, it appears, as was the case in the preceding three. You see how much more naturally the jab snaps out from Linares when he's not coming forward. So Linares now has two cuts, even though... Oh. Hard right hand by Linares. Even though tonight, to my lights, he's winning the round, he sustains a second cut in this round, and now Joe Chavez has two things to work on. Oh. And the anxiety level goes up again for Freddie Roach. This one's over the eye. Okay, Jorge. Linares may find himself the victim of a TKO on cuts in a fight that he's winning on the scorecards. I, when you went on the, on the end and out, I want you to turn him into the shot, into the combination yeah. for me, okay? Yeah. That was also caused by a punch. How are we doing? ¿Cómo estás, Jorge? We're fine. ¿Estás bien? ¿Estás seguro? ¿Respiras bien? Jorge, you okay? Can you breathe well? Yeah? Okay, yeah. Good. Right. Combinations under and out. Let's see. Let's see. Take it down. Come on. Get that jab going again for me and a young fighter who shows up thinking he can win and fights with real vigor, like DeMarco is doing. That is such a good Juarez, Jesus Chavez, that's Rocky Juarez. Oh. Level with him, a young competitive fighter instead of just an old main fighter. And right. all of those punches he threw, nothing was effective as far as landing on DeMarco. It's hard punches, and also DeMarco, what boxing's all about. Triple left hook by Linares. So far, Linares has shown a real fighter's mentality in the face of this blood on his face and this guy in his face. That was a cut man saying he doesn't have something he needed for the cut stretch, and ultimately it helped to bring him down. That he may get caught himself. Do you think the Linares speed of Linares is still bothering him? That's the point I was going to make. Do you think Linares scared him? Brown. Yeah, he said Linares is out. On, you got a short, fast southpaw in uh, Manny Pac. Incidentally, he hasn't yet sparred with Amir Khan. Right. That point should be made. He right. sparred 30 rounds with Pacquiao. He has not been in the ring yet with Khan. And now here comes DeMarco again. Crowd is buzzing as it appears DeMarco has another chance. Lenora says, come on in. The, and the blood is bothering DeMarc. I mean, Lenora. The blood is flowing into his right eye. There's a real change here, Jim. Yep. Lenora is getting hit with everything. He wasn't getting hit with anything. Right. Now he's getting right. hit with everything. But he's firing back. He's still. firing back. He's still firing back. Ducking and slipping. Blocking a couple. Getting hit with a lot. Oh. If they make it out of this one, the 12th round will be high drama. But there's still a minute to go in the 11th. And DeMarco oh, oh, hard right hand by DeMarco after a body shot by Linares. Linares' entire face, a mask of blood. He lands a right hand in return and backs DeMarco up. What a round. What a fight. It's become a potential fight of the month candidate. It's one of the best rounds you can see. Lenar seemingly badly hurt in the nose with a right hand by DeMarco moments ago. Two amazing shots by DeMarco. How did Lenar stay up? It's over. And Raul uh, Pais is going to stop the fight and give DeMarco a TKO victory. A 
amazing show. Tremendous win for Linares. Overwhelming set er, for Fedorco. Overwhelming setback for Jorge Linares, who is brokenhearted in his corner. He fought his heart out. He fought his heart out. I think those injuries had a lot to do. Early in the fight, he looked amazing. This is the second time now Linares has stepped up against a young, hungry fighter. And in spite of an incredible package, he somehow seems to be less than the sum of his parts. But it's his second loss. He didn't do anything wrong tonight. I thought he fought great. He looked, I, I, would, I would still have the same confidence in him in any fight he fought. But tonight, the cuts, I think, and the fact that DeMarco adjusted to his speed after the first round. Here's the secret, guys. Linares can't fight guys from Mexico. He has had <laughs> only two fights against Mexican opponents. Well, no, make it three. He beat Gamaliel Diaz. But in two out of three fights against Mexican opponents, he winds up with knockout losses, despite the amazing skill. Young, tough Mexican opponents. That's right. So Linares, his record slips to 31 and 2. Antonio DeMarco moves up to 26 and 2. Emmanuel, tell us what's happening here. Right here, you see this short, straight left right here that probably changed the whole course of the last round. That shot landed directly in the center of the face, right on the nose. And I believe the blood flowing into Linares' right eye yes. probably had something to do. Yes. And as, as DeMarco is blocking punches, he's steadily moving forward. And every punch that he delivers now, he's lunging and pushing his entire body through with the punch. So a big comeback and a brilliant win for Antonio DeMarco, who collects a lightweight title belt and another demoralizing setback for Jorge Linares. One more look at the end of the fight. A spectacular 11th round in which both fighters gave their all, and ultimately, Raul Caiz stopped it. Hard to disagree with the stoppage, given the nature of the damage to Linares at that point. Linares let's, didn't protest. No, he didn't complain. Let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the particulars on the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, in the tradition of great battles in the lower weight divisions here in Los Angeles, from the Olympic Auditorium to the Great Western Forum, and now continuing here at Staples Center, we've just seen one of the greatest displays of courage in the ring. Before announcing the winner, how about a round of applause for this great display of courage here tonight. Referee Raul Caiz Sr. calls a halt to the bout at 2 minutes, 32 seconds of round number 11. The winner and now WBC lightweight champion of the world, Antonio Pony DeMarco.